The high point to the Alpha A6000, Sony's follow-up to its NEX6 mirrorless interchangeable model, is its seriously speedy continuous shooting. It laps the field with its 11 frame per second burst, and that's with autofocus and auto exposure in either RAW or JPEG. I'm Laurie Grunin, and this is the A6000. Not only is it fast, but continuous shooting in JPEG runs at least 50 shots, and probably more, I just didn't try. Although it takes a while for the camera to save the images to the card, that doesn't interfere with shooting another burst. It does prevent you from reviewing, though, and for some reason Sony put the right indicator on the bottom of the camera instead of the back. In all other aspects of performance, it tested a bit slower than the NEX6, though in practice it feels about the same. You can speed up the autofocus system by turning on pre-AF or one of the continuous autofocus options, but features like that use up more battery power, and the A6000, while rated at 100 shots more than the NEX6, still only lasts about 420 shots on a charge. The autofocus system works pretty well most of the time, but on the occasions when it makes the wrong choices, it can get really frustrating. And like many mirrorless models, it's pretty slow on startup. The A6000 has a higher resolution sensor than the NEX6. It jumps to 24 megapixels from 16. And that means there's a lot more image detail. I found that even as low as ISO 800, though, I could get better results from raw processing than the JPEGs, which look kind of mushy. You can fill with the amount of processing in camera if you'd like. On the other hand, I did shoot some ISO 12800 photos, which, while still noisy, were certainly usable. There's a reasonable amount of recoverable shadow and highlight detail as well, and the default creative style color settings don't push contrast or saturation egregiously, though the neutral setting is more accurate. Video looks quite good as well. With the exception of a few real annoyances, I really like the camera's design and features implementation. Sony gives good grip on its mirrorless models, and everything an advanced user might want is easy to get to quickly. Although the EVF is smaller and lower resolution than the NEX6, it's still fine and I didn't really notice. And it's really necessary since the otherwise good LCD screen is hard to see in direct sunlight. Sony does get brownie points for the tilting flash. The Wi-Fi connectivity works fine, although it's really laggy for remote shooting. But I really hate that in order to update to the full smart remote app, a capability that most competitors simply build in, you have to sign up for a Sony Entertainment Network account and it's a real pain entering text on a phone without a touch screen in order to log in. Despite the small annoyances though, the A6000 is a great overall camera for more advanced photographers who want something smaller than a DSLR, especially if they need the continuous shooting speed. I'm Laurie Grunin, and this is the Sony Alpha A6000.